Let's say E3 to, I don't know what that is, that's for the transmission. And we have to make all the holes in here. So what we did is this is bored out to 16 and 1 8, which is the SAE standard size. We'll set this thing in here like this. We pick the spot that we wanted to. I took a um, tape measure to find center. I had some blocks and straight edge and stuff here to make a stand of sorts so I could have a more precise layout method. But all of that secured, this thing tapped down into here, it was a nice snug fit, and we used transfer punches, Just put them in here, give them a good whack, and then it leaves you with centered holes, and I've already started on here, so what we're doing is a 3 8 16, drill, dr or three, drill it out 5 16, 3 8 16 tap, and then come back with a little bit of a, what was their call? I don't remember, but um, to deburr it a little bit and make it so mm -hmm. the bolts fit in there nice and easy, because it's not going to be us working on this thing at every given moment. How nobody should be taking this off, but you know, even for us to assemble it, it's still gonna be nice. So we just carry on with the next part. The starter hole is already; those are done and installed, so the starter fits in here. Um, it'll be our hole here. It's one of them. Hmm. Oh, but, well, the other one's actually right in the middle there. But that's probably less camera and more. <laughs> Don't worry about it. You know? <laughs> Perfect. It bolts up. The starter works. It's just slightly clocked a little weird. But, yeah. Sweet. I think that's good. <laughs>